Okay, so Global Dokkan has finally gotten the release of Tech Ultra Instinct Goku. And this has been a highly anticipated character ever since he was revealed at the end of June. He was the duration of July on JP. And finally here in August, actually super early, he is coming a uh, product of the sync that's happening. Now, kind of a bad time for him to drop on Global basically right at the end of the anniversary but let me know how you guys the summons went in the comment section below i'd love to see hopefully you guys got good luck if you're gonna still try for you goku or whatever your summons plans are gonna be Today's video, you know, pretty clearly, we're going to go ahead and take UI Goku into a couple of different events. Uh, so this is the Super Saiyan God Evolution Vegeta event. Uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta event. I said that really weird. And this stage is brand new to Global. Just to go ahead and take them in here. We have two characters that are not exactly yet in Global, which is the Team Universe 7 and the Physical 17 and Golden Freeza EZAs. But those two characters do release within the next two days so not really gonna be that big of a deal i think overall we can go ahead and get the tech ui goku's intro animation here which is an absolutely beautiful animation i'll just let that you know speak for itself <laughs> Yeah, man, that looks pretty good. And this, this UI Goku has pristine animations. So that is the friend UI Goku, which not that big of a deal, whether or not it's a friend or mine, right? At the end of the day, we just want to show this character off. So this guy, the, the, the downside to this guy is that he has a lot of these other UI Goku type of mechanics where he has just a 70% chance to dodge, right? We're going to go ahead and slide him in slot one though, right? We'll, we'll let it, we'll let him do his thing right here in slot one. That should be okay. No rainbow orbs for team universe seven is a little bit of an issue, but we do only need to get at most 22 key with this character. So it's not going to be the end of the world if we cannot achieve that. Um, UI Goku has 50% reduction before he receives an attack. Uh, okay. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's that 70% chance to dodge for you, man. Um, that also, okay. So what's funny is, uh, well, we see that. After he takes an attack, he'll lose 50% or 35% reduction. Where's your dodge, buddy? What is going on? But then he gets guard, right? Guard and 15% reduction after the first attack, which is, in some situations, not going to be as good. But, you know, not, not the biggest deal ever. Now, the thing is, he gets an additional super attack once he dodges within the same turn. And he did not dodge before he attacked, so, of course, the additional will not proc. The good news is that even if he's in slot 2 or 3, he still does have an additional with a great chance to be a super. I guess in this situation, I should have just put him in slot 1, but it's not that big of a deal. UI Goku is probably going to dodge a superhero is what I'm assuming. Yep, there it is. Bam. AWI with his guaranteed turn 1 dodge. Absolutely incredible. Um, I just realized we're at 20 key, not 22 key, so this character is not going to get a lot of stats, but we should still be fine. With the 52% damage reduction this character has, as long as they're on a full Rhapsody Universe 7 category team. That's really, really good. Um, we might float off Blue Kalkin and Evolution Vegeta. And the simple reason for that is because they're just more liable to losing in front of all those attacks compared to the 17 Golden Frieza. But we will go ahead and give them the three rainbow key spheres so they get that third additional and additional 7% damage reduction. So from here, we should be good. Now, the thing about Tech UI Goku is, you know, his transformation into the completed UI Goku from UI Sign, right? The white hair version. That is the fifth turn from his entrance turn, right? So... If I have a situation where my UI Goku is in slot 7, then, uh-oh, that UI Goku can't use his domain basically at all through the fight. Especially, like, if you have a team like this, where you have 
like all these year old characters rainbow and easy aid and they're just like doing insane crazy damage i say that and we see like five mil attacks i right hear but you know you get the point like a lot of these characters could do crazy 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 damage um you guys do these fights really quickly especially because a lot of these fights are two like two phases now like uh, uh, so max in fact is even one phase like this fight is two phases uh all, all the other fights in this event are actually also two phases uh besides the i think it's the ui goku stage is multiple phases and the goku and frieza phase uh, stage are multiple multiple phases um but all the other four stages are just two we have kid boo i think it, i don't know if i said kid boo yet but kid boo is also an event that lasts only for the two like phases right so you guys kind of get the point there where a lot of these fights have started becoming short um which could really 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 be an issue with making sure you get that especially in this fight if you guys aren't aware the final phase against the blue evolution vegeta he does actually disable dodge which is a huge aspect of the ui gokus but the thing about this guy is that he nullify attacks that are guaranteed to hit for super class enemies and allies so it does make it possible to evade these attacks the exact wording of the global version states super class enemies and allies can nullify attacks that are guaranteed to hit making it possible to evade these attacks now this means that if a boss could dodge you and you have a character that is guaranteed to hit they could also still dodge but that's a much 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 less common scenario to experience then you know uh bringing a dodging unit you know or stopping yourself from bringing a dodging unit into an event that disables that dodge mechanic right much much less common we'll go you know let's let's trust the boy ui goku here again i uh, i believe in him that he is going to show up and let us know that you know that that one time was just a fluke a simple fluke he's gonna just be an absolute god now, one thing about this guy that I think a lot of people don't really... Like, you know, when people talk about the Shua Goku, I feel like a lot of people don't really mention this. On his 12k super attack, he does give 30% defense to all allies. So, a character like AJUI Goku, who doesn't have any super attack raise on his, you know, super attack effects, that is going to give him a pure 30% defense buff, which is going to be really good and makes this a really, really nice partnership um and he, when he's transformed it's even higher right it's a 59 percent attacking defense raise so that's really really good besides that he does also give 30 percent attack okay well my cord just decided to be a little silly let's um let's just fix that real quick sorry about that y'all <laughs> but besides that he also does give 30 percent attack to all allies for the turn which is very very nice Ajo UI was not at 24 key, so he's actually missing a 77% multiplicative attack buff, which is definitely a big deal, but, you know, it's not like an end-all be-all. Uh, dodge this, buddy. Yep, there we go. My goat with the 77% chance to dodge. My tech UI Goku could finish the job off, or he could not. It is funny that I would actually prefer he doesn't finish the job off, and then we just go straight into the final phase. Additional normal no he does actually still finish the job bob okay not that big of a deal we literally are not in any danger to losing here we have the revive skill up with blue evolution if we need to we got 17 gold freezes active skill as well it is not these characters time to shine though so we're not gonna go ahead and give them all that uh well I'll give 17 golden freeze of this just because it'll just give them an extra defense buff and I think that'll just be super useful to get them that little defense buff right there. Then we'll give you all that and we should be cooking here. So again, this specific stage, like blue Vegeta hits really hard. Like this super attack, it's not going to one shot me, I think, but it's going to do a lot of damage, right? Okay. It does one shot me. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I actually did not expect that to one shot me. Wow. Okay. Huh? Yeah, I guess that's one thing is this guy is not like built up. He has to attack like five times and he has to receive a few attacks, which is kind of like my thought process between this guy and UI Goku recently, I think has kind of shifted just because a lot of these events are shorter. I kind of am liking the EJ UI Goku a little better, 
But we're gonna get a crazy, crazy, crazy turn here, y'all. I like you. You don't understand how crazy this turn's gonna be. We'll go ahead and get the UI Goku transformation, and then we'll play like a bunch of these active skills. Now again, I do want to point out that we saw the dodge disable like at the top of the screen right there when Blue Evolution Vegeta is getting attacked last turn. That is going to be gone now in this specific turn. Just, just keep that in mind, right? Uh, we'll go ahead and also get AGL UI Goku's active skill in here just because he is a really, really good partner with this guy. And I kind of want to show off the damage this boy is going to be able to do this turn too. Now, one other effect that I have not brought up yet about Tech UI Goku's domain is that he gives superclass enemies and allies 15% attack and defense then another 15% attack for characters who also are in the realm of gods category which will let a character like EGL UI Goku get a 30% attack buff but again this also does apply to the boss so this blue evolution Vegeta bots actually also has a 30% attack buff himself right however it doesn't really matter because we are going to kill Tech UI Goku in his first transform state also does give all allies a 10% chance to dodge on top of him guaranteed dodging, right? So, for example, Ajo UI Goku here, who just did this massive attacks at 29 mil, is also starting off with an 87% chance to dodge, and then he gets an additional 7% chance to dodge on top of that with each evasion he does. Again, really crazy. Tech UI Goku also does. You build up three key up to 12, 20% chance to grant, 20% chance to dodge with each attack he does. That does include the counters that he gets. Yes, he has counters when he dodges an attack, right? So there's one attack right there. Here's his guaranteed additional super attack right there. He could get a hidden potential system super attack. Uh, yeah, he's just, he's just really, really stupid, right? <laughs> um... But the fact that he could, again, build up to a 77% chance to dodge from the turn after he gets a guaranteed dodge is really crazy. Now, his counters are going to start hitting really hard. If we take a look here, that's a 6.7 mil counter. If you guys aren't aware, the counter value is not displayed properly for whatever reason. It's actually three times the amount that's being shown. So those 6.7 mil counters are actually about, like, 19 mil counters. <laughs> and he's critting, which makes the value twice as high so those 19 mil counters are actually third like what 38 mil counters is basically what they are oh yeah that's just so stupid now one reason uh he hit really hard in these counters he does greatly raise attack and defense for the turn on both his 12 and 18 key then he gives all allies 59 percent attack and defense for the turn on his 18 key as well right so <laughs> That, that's why he's um just hitting so hard and I, I said a guaranteed additional super attack if you guys weren't aware he gets that when he's at 24 key and in the <laughs> there's another thing <laughs> if you enter the turn under 50% HP or less he actually does get another 20% chance to crit 20% chance to dodge and 91% attack so there are turns where this guy could have a 97% chance to dodge because he builds up the dodge right so like if you enter if i entered next turn if there is a theoretical next turn i entered under 50 percent hp he would actually like he would actually be hitting harder than he did in this turn right because even though he loses the seven key and a 59 percent attack from his first entrance turn he'll gain 91 percent attack he'll still be likely at 24 key then he has the same mechanic as he does you know before he's actually um What's it called? Like when he gets hit before he goes 
into full Ultra Instinct right after his base form, essentially. He has a 50% reduction. Now it's 60%, then he goes down to 20% with Guard after receiving an attack, right? So just really strong fail safe and just this when you get him out he, he's just him he's just him we'll go ahead and hop into another stage probably the goku and frieza stage is what i'm thinking but uh maybe we'll go into one of these other global stages uh, yeah i'll probably go into like another like global stage and then we'll go into the goku and frieza stage for the last part of the video all right i lied we're gonna go into the goku frieza fight <laughs> actually I think that we'll, we'll just end it off here, right? Another fight that does actually disable dodge. Um, we'll just have some good old fun with this Representatives of Universe 7 team. I think this will go very well. Let's go ahead and we're actually going to put Blue Evolution Medina's on one. Just so we could build up that revive with him. I think that'll be a good idea. We'll let Techie White Goku get this. And then we'll just grab this with 17, right? You know, decent little extra key. Uh, this team universe seven does give one key per rainbow keys are obtained to all allies, which is really nice, right? I, I do like that ability. Also, a nice little seven percent attack and defense buff, right? Definitely a solid little support buff. They do also give, you know, a multiple turn thirty percent attack and defense support on their ATK super, which is really good too. A two turn buff, right? But still really nice. So that's why you can see, you know, potentially a little bit higher numbers if you're. Using like your UI Goku compared to like my UI Goku. Um, but yep, there is the friend UI Goku with the 70% additional that did not go through. But he got the hidden potential system one, which is nice. Now, the dangerous part of this fight, I feel like is, well, kind of next phase, right? The next phase is a little bit troublesome. We have the Android 17 who can lock you, right? He can lock any character in the rotation, which is, you know, very annoying mechanic kind of in general. But he does also super you and seals you on that super attack, right? So, you know, he could he could lock, like, your slot 3 unit in slot 1 and you're kind of, like, donezo. Like, if he locks, like... Well, I guess if this team specifically, I feel like any unit realistically is safe besides, like, Golden Freeze and 17 on their very first turn. Or, you know, Blue Cow can go can Evolution Vegeta, right? You know, this character won't necessarily be safe in slot 1, but it seems like we should be okay. We'll go ahead and just grab this with you. I actually want to avoid damage, which is really funny. So I'm actually going to grab... I'll grab... Um, hmm. I do want to grab the single rainbow orb just for the damage reduction. And then we'll actually give 17 and Golden Freeza this just so they can get an 18 key. And I, I think that should be fine. We really want to make sure that we do not enter the Golden Freeza 17 phase without a domain up. For the UI Goku purposes, because the thing about well, the thing about the uh, UI Goku's is they need to dodge, and that phase disables dodge. So essentially, they get just they'll get destroyed, right? You know, if I'm able to like hide, like th like let's say there's a slot where there's no attacks, like one attack for the sec UI Goku, it could be okay, right? I, I could hide them there. But it'll be, it's not really something we can rely on. So we're just going to have to try and make sure we make things go well on our own. Uh, hopefully it doesn't super, okay, well, he's super here. This, uh, <laughs> the, the one slot, man, really? This time, this time we'll be good, right? Um, so I think I'm going to put AJ right here. And the reasoning is because I want him to get his dodges up and then from there he'll be able to have his full key build up and everything like that. The biggest issue is Golden Freeze and 17 might not get any attacks, which, you know, they do want to get a couple of attacks to build up, right? I don't think it's going to be like, you know, the reason why we would lose the run though. So I'm not really going to be too worried compared to, I think, EJUI Goku. I do want to make sure he's at a consistent level himself. So all we need to do is... Well, okay. The good thing is that no matter what, turn three, we are not going to be in the Golden Freeze and 17 portion of the fight. Unless they go really, really, really like mega damage mode next turn, which... I mean, we have the two strong in characters on the team against the tech phase and then Blue Falcon and Evolution Vegeta. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, impossible to consider that, but as long as I don't do that, we should be okay. I probably have to push off seven. Well, do I have to push off Team Universe 7? I could probably push off Blue Cow and Evolution. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. 
Actually, no. <laughs> he, he locked them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Locking is like the most annoying mechanic like ever created in the history of this game, dude. I, I, I absolutely despise locking. I think I'm just going to have to do this just because. And then, you know, I could just grab this and then just do less damage. It, does, it doesn't really matter. The damage that the team unit over 7 does. And not getting 22 key means less damage and no guaranteed additional super. Which means that we probably will not kill this turn. Thumbs up. Let's go. Okay, we did it, guys. <laughs> that sounded so bad. Anyways, uh, Blue Evolution does, again, need to build up. But luckily, this is a four-phase fight. So this is going to be really good for this guy. He's going to be able to get all the attacks he wants. He's going to be able to get his revive built up right very easily. Not really an issue. I mean, literally, we are receiving five attacks right here. Unless the five dodge procs, in which case we are screwed. Nope, we are just fine. Okay, sweet. Now this character has the rainbow orbs and all the full buffs. You know, last turn they get hit for the 1.2 mil. But, you know, again, that it, you're not going to look at that and blame them. That's like a, that's a, that's me. Right? That's on me. I was really scared. But now they're going to start clicking, which is, you know, pretty cool. I Again, I've always liked this unit. I will defend this unit till the end of time. I don't care what anyone says about this character. I think they're goats, raw, like just amazing. Okay, I'm really glad that I did not just like go full force in the 22 p with the uh, Team Universe 7 because I think we would have killed. Oh, my God. It's okay, you guys, stop. <laughs> you, your aura is too big. We know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what, what a unit, dude. Like, it just. People, people, you know, people looked at me dead in the eye and they were like, oh my god, Duran's 21. No! No! Please! No! I'm begging you. Oh, no! Stop! Stop! Don't crit! Don't crit! Oh my. Oh, did you? No. What, what am I supposed to do here? <sighs> I'm in a pickle. I don't know. Um, see, because uh, okay, I could use a. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm doing. It. I don't. I don't care what you guys say. Oh no! You didn't do it. Don't run. I don't care. We're doing this. We're just gonna keep my sanity intact. I, I just want to show off you, I Goku. You know, it, it just it is, it is what it is. We're just gonna do this. Oh, you're not. No, 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 no. You're not. You're, you're not doing this. Nope. No, no, no. I, I'm I'm tired of these bosses, dude. Locking, stunning, etc. That was five rainbow key spheres. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> you're not locking. You're not keeping me locked in like that. No way. Oh, wait. Can you dodge? Okay. Thank you. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. We're in trouble again. Uh, okay. Well, no. Actually, we could revive. So even if I instantly get one shot, we're okay. Which is good. So what should I do here? We'll grab this. Let's. Can I bring down rainbow keysters that I want to? I kind of can't. So what I'm. Well. No, yeah. The in orbs won't fall the way I want to. Because if I do this, the rainbow orb is gone. And I'm pretty sure if I do this, the rainbow orb won't fall. Yeah, okay. That's fine, though. We'll just grab all these with you. Still get a little bit of support. Don't instantly die. Ooh, that's a lot of damage, Blue Evo. Yeah, dude, again. <laughs> this guy needs to build up. But it doesn't matter. Even if we die in this rotation, we're good to go. I mean... You know, the best case scenario is falling under 50% HP. Then we transform, and then we see a mega, mega turn from your uh, the transforming Y. That could be really crazy. That's especially with the three turn buff. Though, again, if we just straight up die, it's like we're just going to revive. Anyways, won't be that big of a deal, and we'll be cooking. So, cool. Okay, okay, okay. These guys are cooking. And at this point, we'll, we'll obviously just keep it rolling from here. Just because there's not really a reason to skip ahead. Um, okay, that works for me. I think this is the Hidden Potential System Super. So we, we've got a couple of Super Attacks off. We'll take things for sure. One more Super would be nice. No, okay. Actually, I don't think we can get one more. Does this... I... Because they only got two Supers. That's like... 
I'm, I'm forgetting how this character works, but I think they're alive still. Okay, yeah. Wait, let me take a look at what this character does again. Because maybe I'm just stupid and I'm forgetting one very important thing. Because they only have... Dude, yeah, maybe they're just... Dude, they're just too good. They're just so good. What a, what a stupid character. Yeah, it's like they only had two supers. No, it's with each attack they do. Oh, okay, no, they're at 60% reduction, basically. Okay, no, we're good. Wow, okay, this is actually just going to be an insane turn for a tech UI. It's, this is actually could be a, a really, really great turn. Actually, we could also get this here, huh? Oh, yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to be disgusting. I am actually really excited. Um, we'll go ahead and get this with you. So, we don't want to revive with a Joe UI. So, I'm actually going to keep tech UI here. And we'll see. We'll see a big damage. Ooh, well, I could put him in the middle and get four counters. You know what? Yeah, we'll let we'll let that happen. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? So, we're under 50% HP. So, we're actually going to get a lot of, like, a huge amount of stats right there. Um... Yeah, Ajo UI Goku is actually not going to hit that hard here, funny enough. No!